it was night time. The land of Karbala hosted both the best and the worst of men. The best were preparing to receive their divine gift of martyrdom from their Lord. The worst were aiming for the temporal worldly benefits. The best were praying and contemplating. The worst were busy deceiving themselves. The best were in heaven. The worst in hell. The best sided with Imam Hussein. The worst with Yazid. Among the best was a man in his early twenties, strong, brave, responsible and knowledgeable. He talked to his Lord while tears rolled down his cheeks. His style reminded others of his father, Imam Ali, who had named him in memory of his brother, Ja'far al-Tayyar. He was Imam Hussein's very own brother, Ja'far bin Ali. He had accompanied his Imam all the way from Medina. He could not forget his mother Ummul Banin's farewell advice. My son, don't ever leave Imam Hussein alone. He is the son of the Lady of Paradise, Fatima. He is your Imam and your leader. You should be ready to sacrifice your life for him in his defence. I will not forgive you if he is hurt. He went to his Imam to check if he was needed. He saw his Imam conversing with his beloved Lord in the last night of his life. He was overcome with emotion. Why should he be killed? He invites them to heaven while they insist on staying in hell. They are avenging the death of their dear ones who was killed by our father in the battles of Badr and Uhud. Imam Ali pleased Allah by killing the infidels whereas they want to please Yazid. He looked at the enemy's camp and wondered they have abandoned the progeny of the Holy Prophet. How can they call themselves Muslim? They have forgotten what the Holy Prophet said. I am leaving among you two weighty things, the Book of Allah and my pure progeny, the Ahlul Bayt. Surely they will never part with each other until they meet me at the pool of Gotha. If you cling to both of them, you will never go astray. Suddenly, he heard his eldest brother, Abul Fadl Abbas, calling him and his brothers, Abdullah and Uthman. After praising Almighty Allah, Abu Fadl addressed them saying, My dear brothers, Imam Hussein is not our brother. He is our Imam, and obedience to him is obligatory. It is true that we are from the same father, but he is the son of the Lady of Paradise, Fatima Zahra. He is the son of the Holy Prophet, and we are at his service. He shouldn't get hurt as long as we are alive. Therefore, prepare yourselves to defend him from the arrows and spears that come his way. This fiery speech fueled them further, and they replied, Brother, we are with you in whatever you decide. We are ready to defend him with our lives. Ja'far spent all night guarding his Imam from any possible surprise attack, and anxiously waited for dawn. When the battle was underway, Abu Fadl Abbas called his brothers saying, Brothers, step forward, the time has come. Serve your Imam and earn the pleasure of Allah. They accepted his call and defended their Imam. Ja'far too went to his Imam and asked for permission. The Imam permitted him with tears in his eyes. He rode into the battlefield and introduced himself. I am Ja'far, the honoured son of Ali. He was generous, kind and the chosen Wali. Ja'far at Dayar, my uncle, attests my nobility. My maternal uncle too symbolizes bravery. I am the defender of Hussein bin Ali, who is truly blessed by the Almighty. He fought bravely and killed many of the enemy soldiers. Hani bin Sabit Hazrami eventually succeeded in killing him. Ja'far made sure that his Imam did not get hurt as long as he lived. Eternal bliss awaited him in the hereafter. <laughs>